Moving to Hawaii, tips on living in Kona. We are doing this video because it was inspired by you, our YouTube viewers and clients, as a result of conversations we have had just about every day and comments that you have left for us. Our goal with this video is to provide some honest insights about living here in Kona, Hawaii, and assist you with your research about living here as well. We also want to tell you our story on what it was like for us to move here from the mainland several years ago. And if we can save you tons of money on airline tickets, flying back and forth, fantastic. Our goal accomplished. Or even millions of dollars on a home you may regret purchasing and sell in a year or two, then we have done our job. So before we jump into this video, moving to Hawaii, living in Kona, let us introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Therese McCarthy, a licensed realtor with Real Estate Kona. And I am Stephen Prosky, a licensed realtor broker with Real Estate Kona. And we are a team at Compass Hawaii here in Kona. So let's jump into this video, moving to Hawaii, living in Kona. Starting with number one, it's isolated. Yes, Hawaii is the furthest away from any major land mass and you may not notice that very quickly or you may be quite surprised by it. Some people move to Kona because they want something remote and like the slower pace. But if your family and friends are all on the mainland and you have no friends or family here nor try to make any friends here, it can start to wear on you regardless of how tranquil and beautiful our surroundings can be. You must take into consideration that we are not just a few hours drive away from family if they get sick or have an emergency. You will need to schedule a flight and planes don't fly out of here every hour on the hour going back to the mainland. Plus, companies like Amazon don't deliver here like overnight and sometimes things get lost in the mail. Yes, we live on an island and most everything we use and consume needs to be shipped here. So please take that into consideration. Number two, there are no private beaches. Yes, all our beaches, regardless of where they're located, are open to the public access. So don't think you can own a home on the waterfront and have a totally private beach at your leisure. Beaches belong to everybody here in Hawaii. Even the resorts, like the Four Seasons here at Hulalai, their beaches are accessible to the public. That is the beauty of Hawaii, regardless of where you live on any island. Now, you may not have the same parking access as hotel guests, but there's parking available for the public to get access to those beaches. Number three. When you live here, every day is not a vacation. Yes, you enjoyed your vacation time in Hawaii and think moving here would be just the same. Well, it's not. When you move here, you're not swimming at the beach every day or going snorkeling every day. You moved here and probably still work. So your day is filled just like any other location unless you are retired. Don't fool yourself thinking living in paradise will be vacation 365 days a year. Yes, it is truly wonderful to live here. And when you have the time, you can go to the beach or enjoy any other activities year round since our weather really doesn't change that much. We live, work, and play where others want to. Next subject, diverse culture. Yes, living in Hawaii is like a melting pot of different cultures. Kona is not just made up of all Hawaiian people. We have a blend of Hawaiians, Samoans, Japanese, Filipino, Korean, Thai, Portuguese, Tongan, Chinese, Mexican, Pacific Islanders. The number of Hawaiians that live in Kona is less than 50%. When moving here, make sure you jump into the culture of Hawaii so you can get a better understanding of the island and enjoy your time living here. And next, don't change the island. Let the island change you. When doing your research, you may have heard this term used. So let me give you a little insight to its meaning. You need to figure out how to fit into the island lifestyle. 
there is definitely a spirituality on the island and the aloha spirit. Part of that is learning to embrace this rather than fighting it or trying to change it. You are moving to an island rich in Hawaiian culture and things are done here just a little differently than on the mainland. No one is in a hurry. And if you think you can change that, you are fighting a losing battle. Embrace the aloha spirit of appreciating everything. Be grateful for the world around you. Pay homage to the island and all of nature. Stay rooted in the ohana or family, and most importantly, be kind. That, my friends, is letting the island change you. Homes here in Hawaii are small, and many people find that challenging when they move here from the mainland. Yes, maybe you will get 15 to 1700 square feet of a home and a price tag in the million dollar range. This can be a bit shocking coming from the mainland, but it is the norm here in Hawaii. Even though the Big Island has plenty of open land, most of the land here is owned by the state or Hawaiian land trust. You need to be prepared to move here that you are not going to see those 3,000 to 4,000 square foot homes on acreage unless you have some deep pockets to spend. Whether a condo, single family home, prices in Kona are expensive comparative to some places on the mainland, but not the major cities. We always get asked about buying a lot and building a home. Well, don't expect to see much of that happening here in Kona. The cost for building a home could start around five to six hundred dollars per square foot. The permitting process alone could take you six to nine months and construction time can range anywhere from 18 to 24 months at a minimum. Why you ask? Well first off this is Hawaii <laughs> and nothing happens quickly here. Second finding contractors who aren't busy and willing to take on a job is another hurdle. Third, all your building materials will need to be shipped into the island. That could take some serious delays. By and large, most people moving here want something sooner versus later. So building a home will take you several years at best to complete. It is really expensive to live in Kona, Hawaii. Well, I think you may already know that answer. Yeah, yeah, we heard it. Milk prices are $10 a gallon and eggs are $7 a dozen. Well, prices are high here, but not crazy expensive. There are loads of other expenses that are high as well. If you want to ship your furniture here and get a container from the mainland, it could cost you anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000. So do you really want to ship your furniture here? When Teresa and I moved here we sold all our furniture and brought only six boxes and four suitcases yes when we bought our home we purchased most of our furniture here locally and had items shipped from different stores like costco and home depot and they did it for free shipping a vehicle right now from the mainland on the west coast will run you about two thousand dollars and you should consider that since vehicle prices here are quite high since we like to go out to eat at times, an average meal at a restaurant will run you about $50 per person or more. Yes, restaurants are expensive because the majority of them cater to the tourists who are visiting. We don't have a great selection of grocery stores to pick and choose from, and since everything is shipped in, prices are reflective of that. Going to places like Safeway, getting their $5 Friday items is very helpful or going to Walmart and buying some of our groceries there too. The best place for savings here is Costco. Most of their pricing are comparable to the mainland, even their wine prices. You don't have to always buy in bulk, but you can definitely save some money shopping there. What we have noticed that we are not spending money on seasonal clothing like the mainland since our temps are same year round 75 to 85 degrees every day also you will not have a heating bill <laughs> because our of our temperate climate all in all prices can be a little higher here but they are fairly competitive in comparison to some west coast cities 
like LA or San Francisco. Staying healthy. You have probably heard that all of Hawaii has their healthcare challenges, even on Oahu. If you do have any serious health issues, you may need to fly to Honolulu or back to the mainland because the health services are limited here in Kona because we don't have the population to support them. That being said, it is a fact that people in Hawaii live longer than any other state in the country and have more of a healthier population. The reason for that is our weather is ideal 365 days of the year and we spend the majority of it outdoors like we are today versus on the mainland when you have those rainy and snowy seasons, people tend to stay indoors for part of the year. Yes, we don't have excuses for not hiking regularly or swimming to get our exercise in and stay healthy. We are not only the healthiest state in the country, but probably the happiest because of our tropical environment. Part of our being healthier is eating healthy. We eat loads of fresh fruit, fresh seafood that is great for our bodies. Yeah, you are not going to find many fast food places here. And when you do, the prices are pretty steep because they need to ship in their food products. So you might as well eat bananas right off the tree, star fruit, mangoes, papayas, the list goes on. Well, hopefully these nine items were a little helpful for you in making your decision about moving to Kona. We know a video by itself will not address 100% of the questions you may have about moving here. And we are always open to your conversations and discussions about this subject. Our goal is to educate you, not scare you, about Kona Hawaii. We moved here to enjoy year-round beautiful weather, enjoy a slower pace of life, and be happy. Yes, be happy. <laughs> if you want more information about Kona, please reach out to one of our contact sources below. We are always here for you. Have a great week and see you again. Aloha! Aloha.